Rumi and quantum physics explore the illusion of reality. We live our lives believing the universe is a collection of separate objects. You are you, I am me, and the screen you're watching is an isolated thing. But what if this apparent separation is the greatest illusion of all? For centuries, mystics and poets like Rumi have challenged us to see beyond this veil, to realize a profound oneness. And now, in the most cutting-edge halls of modern physics, scientists are discovering that this ancient, mystical insight may not be a metaphor, but a feature of the universe itself. Welcome to a journey that reveals how the mind-bending reality of quantum entanglement whispers the very same secret as the ecstatic poetry of Milana Rumi. From the ecstasy of the dervish to the rigor of the laboratory, a single question unites two different worlds. The concept of an undivided, singular reality is at the heart of Maulana's teachings. Ahmed, my dear one, what does your heart tell you is the most profound illusion we face. Maulana, my senses tell me that all things are separate. I am separate from my brothers and from this desk. Yes. Our senses speak of a fragmented world. They tell us you are you and I am me. But for centuries, mystics have challenged this. We say this apparent separation is just a dream. You were born with wings. Why prefer to crawl through life? I ask you, why cling to a cage built of illusions? This is a call to take flight, a challenge to our very sense of self. We are not fragments of existence, Ahmed. The universe is deeply, fundamentally interconnected. It is a single, beautiful dance. The whirling dervish embodies this. One hand reaches up to receive, the other points down to give. The body becomes a bridge, a pivot between the spiritual and physical worlds. The goal is to lose the isolated self. To lose it and to achieve a state of undifferentiated unity with the ultimate reality. The mystic seeks to dissolve the illusion of being a separate individual. It is a rigorous, demanding path. But Maulana, how can we describe something that defies all words? Language is for separate things. You have found a deep truth. The universe, at its core, defies our common sense and our language. Our ordinary language, built on sensory experience, is inadequate. It is based on a fragmented reality. This is why the mystics fill their works with paradox and metaphor. Our words cannot hold the truth we experience. I use poetry to bypass the intellect and speak directly to the heart. It is the language of a unified field. So the paradox is the point. The words themselves are a map, but not the territory. Exactly. The truth we seek is indeterminate and undifferentiated. Words fail it. For me, even the nothingness is the foundation of all existence. It is not an absence, but a field of pure potential. Just like the hidden sweetness in the stomach is emptiness, a truth can be known without being seen or named. So the dance of the dervish, it is a physical prayer to this unified field. It is a continuous dance of energy, an attempt to physically embody the very same principle of oneness that our hearts long for. When you witness the dervishes, you are not watching a ritual. You are watching a dance of reality. The illusion of separation is a cage. It confines us to isolated experiences. But just as our hearts tell us, reality is a network of profoundly interconnected relationships. To take flight, to use our wings, is to realize our essential, non-dual oneness with all things. It is a realization that, like the quantum realm you will hear of one day, may seem paradoxical and strange at first. But it is a truth that can set us free. The universe is not a collection of separate objects, but a single, beautiful, and continuous dance of energy. With you, my child, at the center of it all, 
Molana's teachings on a universe in a continuous dance of energy find an unlikely echo in the cold halls of modern science. Gentlemen, let's revisit the quantum dilemma. Imagine two particles created together. According to the theory, no matter how far apart they travel across the street or across the galaxy, they remain connected. Some would say this is an impossibility. You are speaking of instantaneous action that violates all we know about causality. Precisely. This is what Albert Einstein called spooky action at a distance. He couldn't accept it either. Einstein thought it proved the theory was incomplete, but the experiments have confirmed it again and again. Two particles that are light years apart are not, in a deeper sense, separate at all. The connection is faster than light. They are part of a unified, indivisible whole. The apparent boundaries between them are, in the face of our data, illusory. Physics has been forced to view the universe not as a collection of separate parts, but as a complicated web of relations within a unified whole. This isn't just a convenient metaphor. It's a profound conceptual parallel that can change our entire understanding of reality. But how do we speak of it? What about the limits of language itself? How can we describe a universe so absurd and paradoxical? It is a very good point. The universe, at its core, defies our common sense and our language. How do you speak of a reality where there is no longer a clear distinction between space and time, or where time can seem to stop? Our ordinary language is woefully inadequate for this. It is based on our sensory experience of a fragmented reality. So we are forced to invent new words and new concepts to even begin to describe it. This is a common struggle for us. Precisely. The phenomena are often described by physicists as absurd or paradoxical. We are at the limit of human thought. We are, in essence, using a different kind of communication to convey a truth that logical prose cannot contain. The scientific finding of entanglement provides a profound third-person perspective on a reality that mystics have experienced for centuries. Are you suggesting we've stumbled upon what they've been describing all along? I'm suggesting we are forced to face the same problem. How to describe the reality of a unified field? But what about the quantum woo, the pseudoscience that uses our work to make wild spiritual claims? A crucial point. We must not confuse philosophical parallels with unfounded claims. Our purpose here is not to prove anything. We're not here to say entanglement proves mysticism. That would be an oversimplification of both. The value is in recognizing that you don't have to know what's true to start thinking differently. The value is in the question. When the data runs out, the questions that remain are often philosophical in nature. We are not here to solve the mystery. We are here to understand what it's pointing at. And what it's pointing at is a simple yet life-changing truth. The illusion of separation is a cage. It confines us to a world of fragmented, isolated experiences. But just as quantum physics reveals that the universe is a network of profoundly interconnected relationships, so too does this truth challenge us to transcend the illusion of the separate, isolated self. To take flight is to realize our essential, non-dual oneness with all things. It is a realization that may seem strange at first. But when you embrace this truth, you begin to see the universe not as separate objects, but as a single, continuous dance of energy. And so we find that two objects can be described as a single system, even when separated by a vast distance. The state of one cannot be defined without knowing the state of the other. Before a particle is measured, it exists in a state of superposition, simultaneously exhibiting both spin-up and spin-down states. The act of observation instantly determines the state of its distant partner, which collapses from superposition into a single correlated state. This mysterious connection enables millions of particles to act as a single unified object, a whole entity unto itself, much like a flock of birds. The parallels between quantum entanglement and Rumi's philosophy 
reveal a common quest to understand the underlying nature of a unified reality. While one path relies on the intellectual rigor of mathematics and the empirical process, and the other on the intuitive power of direct spiritual experience, both arrive at a similar conclusion. The universe, at its deepest level, is not a collection of fragmented parts, but a single, interconnected whole. This convergence offers a profound framework for personal growth, providing a basis for understanding that our thoughts, intentions, and connections are not isolated, but are inextricably linked to a larger, unified field. This understanding invites us to approach life with greater empathy, awareness, and a deep sense of shared purpose. If this video touched your heart, subscribe. It's inspired by the timeless wisdom in the seven book Rumi collection by Dr. Fareed Mostaman. Whether you seek healing, love, clarity, or growth, these teachings will guide you inward to the truth of who you are.